Now another big story we're following tonight, the major shakeup at the Catholic Diocese of Memphis. Bishop Martin Hawley is out on orders from the Pope, Pope Francis at the Vatican. Yeah, Bishop Hawley's departure comes months after high-ranking Catholic church officials came to investigate parishioner backlash to reassigned priests. The closure of Catholic schools and well dwindling donations. Local I team reporter Brad Broders is live at the Catholic Diocese of Memphis tonight. Brad, what have you uncovered today? Well, Richard and Katina staff here declined an on camera interview, and we are told Bishop Martin Holly is out of town. But those critics of Bishop Holly are talking and not holding back in what they believe went wrong with him at the helm, leading nearly 50 parishes across West Tennessee. It's sad to be excited about something because we wanted it to work. On Pope Francis's orders, Memphis Diocese Bishop Martin Holly is out just two years after being installed at the Cook Convention Center. It's been just a very trying, trying time for the church. Uh, people have left and people are upset and uh, money is down. Father John MacArthur and more than two thirds of Memphis priests were reassigned or demoted in the months after Bishop Holly took over. That caused divisions and departures. We've lost a fourth of our parishioners at Incarnation. Kathy Hurdle and hundreds of fellow parishioners wrote letters to Bishop Holly to voice concerns. She and priests said those pleas fell on deaf ears. He did not respond to any of our correspondence. I don't think he ever liked us, respected us, cared about us, never listened to us, never wanted to get to know us. Father Care. MacArthur said after continued complaints and drops in donations, archbishops from Georgia and Minnesota came to Memphis to investigate this summer. The priest said that probe led to Bishop Holly's removal. I felt unburdened, free to be able to say what's going on. And they responded and ultimately they saw other things besides what we said, what I said. Now, supporters of Bishop Holly did voice their support on the diocese Facebook page earlier today, saying things like, this is a sad day and this is wrong. The Archbishop Joseph Kurtz of Louisville will lead this diocese until further notice. Reporting live in Northeast Memphis for the local I-Team, I'm Brad Broders.